Today we're going to be formatting an external hard drive for APFS. We're also going to be installing Catalina on this drive. Um, if you're having trouble in disk utility, then this is the video for you. If disk utility will not allow you to format it for APFS, if it will be grayed out, then just watch this and this will help. Okay, so we're just going to plug the drive in. We're going to open up terminal. We can go to spotlight and just type in terminal and it should be able to open this up. So now we're going to go on over to the uh, disk utility application. So we're just going to type in disk utility. Here we go. We're going to select that external drive, click erase, go to format, go ahead, Mac OS X extended journaled. Let's go ahead, click accept. It's going to go ahead and erase it. Don't, uh, don't use it as a time machine backup, obviously. All right. So now we can quit out of disk. This quit out of disk utility. I guess that was this and disk utility combined. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, disk util and then space space list. And now we should see uh, this is our internal drive and it says internal physical and then this is our external drive and it says external physical. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type in this command here, which I've copied over. Disk util. And this is going to be in the description, don't worry. Disk util erase disk hfs plus external gpd slash dev slash disk one. Now, this is where it could differ for you. So as you can see, the name of my, my disk is Samsung T5. So um, here we have uh, slash dev slash disk one. My internal uh, drive is slash dev slash disk zero. And that says I have it named SSD. And then we have recovery HD. So make sure you do not reformat disk zero because that is your internal hard drive. You do not want to format that. We want to format slash dev slash disk one. So this is the command disk util erase disk HFS plus external GPT slash dev slash disk one. And again, that's going to be in the description. So we just go ahead, press enter. And now as you can see, the uh, disk is going to go away and come back. And it says finished erase on disk one. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is close out a terminal, go back into disk utility, go ahead and click on uh, external, click erase. And now you should be able to see APFS in the file system menu. So we're gonna click on APFS and we're just gonna click erase. And now there you go, it's formatted as APFS in that you know simple step. I mean, it is you know opening up terminal, it is kind of annoying. But look, now we have a, uh, APFS. And do not right click and click on format as APFS. It will not work from this menu. It only works if you click erase and then select it from the drop down. Okay, so now we can quit out of disk utility. We can go um, and install Mac OS Catalina. So this Mac OS, X, uh, Mac OS X installer, this can be found on the Apple website. Just do a quick Google search. Just Google search uh, Mac OS X Catalina installation. Um, and then this should download right from there, from the Apple website. So now we're just going to go ahead and click continue. I'm going to click agree. And we're going to select our external disk. I mean, it won't even do our internal disk because that's not formatted as APFS. I'm going to go ahead and click install. Type in my password. And there we go. So four minutes remaining. Um, that is incorrect. So it's actually going to take about, I'd say, approximately an hour. So once this is done, um, it's actually going to ask to restart. Don't be alarmed. Your internal hard drive is going to be fine. It's only going to format the external drive for um, Catalina. And um, yeah, so that's how you do APFS. I'm going to actually stop the video for now. But as soon as the, this is done, I'm going to start it again. And then we'll continue from there. All right, so we're back. The computer has finished. Uh, doing whatever it was doing and now we're just going to click restart so it can uh, install Catalina on that external drive and so it's going to close applications and now it's going to go ahead and bring up the little Apple logo and you should see uh, the Apple logo and a progress bar and this is it installing Catalina so as you can see it's going to boot up and there's the Apple logo. And momentarily, you should see this, this uh, progress bar. And this is going to take a while. So go ahead and let this finish. 
should take um, you know 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes, however long it takes, let it do it. And then it's gonna allow you to set up your Mac on this external drive. So I will uh, talk to you when this is done. All right, so it did its thing. Um, I actually was pretty wrong about the timestamp. It will only take maybe 20, 20 minutes, something like that, if you have a solid state drive. If you have a slow hard disk drive, it will take like up to an hour though. So it just de depends on the speed of your internal hard drive and your external hard drive because it's going to use the operating system on your internal hard drive and it's obviously going to be transferring the data to your external drive. So it's really just going to de depend on your drive speed, your processing speed, your how much RAM you have. It's going to depend on a lot of things how long it's going to take. But uh, don't be alarmed. Do not turn off your computer while it's installing. Do not mess with anything. Um, just let it do its thing. All right, so here we are at the setup screen. It only took a little bit longer. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and zoom through this uh, setup. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead, set up later. Skip, agree, agree, full name, and here we go. Here's where we set it up. Let's just uh, name it George, password, password will be password. Because why not? I think they make you put in a password now. And I don't think the hint can have the password in it. So it's creating the account. And there we go. Continue. Don't want to share crash and usage data. For me at least. Because that would just slow my, my computer down. But it will help Apple. It is good. Um, there we go, we can just go ahead, click not now on that, continue, we'll use dark mode, continue, and there we go, now it's just going to set it up, and um, the last thing I'm going to show you on this video is how to uh, change your startup disk in system preferences, but I'm also going to show you how to boot from the other drive. So here is startup disk down here. I'm just going to click on that. And right now, uh, the selected startup disk is external. So what we want to do is we want to go in there and we want to change that. We want to change that to... Oh, wait, yeah, the password is password. I forgot. Okay. We want to go ahead and change that to SSD. So that should now, by default... Uh, boot up to the regular operating system in the computer and then if I ever want to boot to this I can just hold down option at startup and that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helped you out in some way and uh, thank you very much for watching